Hey guys, welcome back for another episode of Money Diaries. I've historically been very much a spender and living outside our means in the past, racking up credit card debt that we can't afford. And so this whole series is just about being more budget aware, but getting used to feeling comfortable spending money. My husband Joel and I worked really hard in 2023 to become debt free. And so now we're just trying to learn some good habits for the long term. And part of that is just taking a look at what our habits are so that we can make some tweaks as we go along. I'm planning to do this for at least a couple months to get an idea for trends so I can maybe start some new sinking funds and maybe I can identify some areas that maybe need a little bit of work. I track from Saturday through Friday. First up on here, I had a travel shift on Saturday, so I did need to stop and grab gas. The same day, I stopped and used my travel allotment for food at Aldi. I prefer to do this rather than eating out, just it's a lot easier and I can usually eat healthier. I've gotten questions on how I budget for my travel shifts. Usually what we try to do is just tighten up our budget and use money that we already have allocated. So then at the end of the month, we still get that full reimbursement check without having had to set the money aside for it ahead of time. So in this case, use some of our grocery fund to pay for this. And when I got back into town after my travel shift, I stopped at the grocery store and this was to pick up some donuts for the weekend. As you can see, we had a no spend on Sunday, but then on Monday, we had a household item pickup order from Walmart cat litter, deodorant, toothpaste, you know, some of those essentials. And that was $47.69. A lot of purchases on Monday, so bear with me. Uh, we also got a pickup order from Target. This was for hyaluronic acid. This is part of the skincare routine that my oldest daughter and I do. And then we also got the bulk of our groceries that day. So all these $78, Walmart $90, and just our general grocery store $11.54. These are all pretty close to each other where I live so it's not too much extra work to go to several stops and I don't normally spend this much money on groceries in one week but since I had some travel shifts I do better saving money when I plan out for two weeks at a time and then we won't get as much in groceries next week. That was it for Monday but on Tuesday we did go to the new Dune movie and we also opted to get some concessions. They have a deal that they do so we got a large pop and a a large popcorn that we shared and my youngest daughter got some cotton candy weekly ode to dune over here this is actually a barnes and noble find barnes and nobles has a lot of really fun collectible editions for various books and dune is probably one of my favorite covers that they've done but murder on the orient express behind me is also a barnes and noble collectible edition last item on tuesday is our internet bill came out uh for utilities that was 79.99 on wednesday went to Burger King and got dinner for the family. We had kind of an unexpected medical thing come up, so this was just a specific request after that. And the last two are from Thursday. We had another purchase at Target. This was for hair oil. My youngest daughter requested this and we just put it on the ends of our hair. So there's one that they carry that we really enjoy. And that was $32.40. Final purchase for the week? was Cub Foods and just got some like sushi trays from there. I think one of the biggest things I've noticed from tracking our purchases is acknowledging that most of my personal money ends up going to some sort of food item, which is fine when it's linked to like an experience. Like I don't mind using it as concessions at the movie theater, but I really wanna start doing a little bit more with my personal money. So I've actually been considering taking out some of my personal money in cash, but we'll see if I end up doing anything with that. I also just wanted to show the other side of the budget spreadsheet because one of the things that got me to start doing these money diaries is I just want a space that I can track our purchases from the week. And if I have paid it with my credit card, I want to make sure that I'm transferring the money out of the bank account set aside for that. So that doesn't look like I have that money available anymore. But also once it's posted, I want to pay it. And I do this once a week on Friday night or Saturday morning. 
And so we didn't have any purchases on Friday. So all of the purchases from this last week had posted and I was able to pay them. This has been pretty useful for that and I'm enjoying that function of my spreadsheet. Okay, so here's the summary for this week. 227 towards groceries, but we have $300 available for two weeks. We still have some money left over in that category. Gas, 33.15. I actually did pull this from my personal spend this week, and that's because I used all of my gas allotment in the previous week for a different travel shift. So I'm playing a little bit catch up, like moving pieces around to make it work so that we can still get that full travel reimbursement without putting extra money aside for it. Utilities cost this week about $80, household $47.69, and we do $50 for that every two weeks, so there's a couple dollars left in that account. Self-care was $42, and I think we had about $75 in this, so there's about $30 left. Self-care is mainly for hair and skin care products, but also for haircuts. And personal was $98.70. Actually, my allotment for personal is $75, so between this and the gas, that puts us up to about $130, but... We did have some money left over, unclaimed chore money, so we kind of pushed that over for this week. Outflow from our budget is $529 this week. And then here's a look at our pie chart. So 18% of the money spent was towards personal, 8% towards self-care, 9% on household. Utilities was at 15%, gas 6%, and groceries 43%. I always feel a little bit vulnerable sharing these numbers, but I thought maybe it could be helpful to someone else who's also trying to figure out their finances. I think it has been useful, so I plan to continue doing these videos for a while yet. If you want to see what goals we're working on, I'll share my Transfer Tuesday video here at the end. We just try to make a little bit of progress towards our goals every single week. Look at the financials, where the money's coming from what's left over and how much progress that means that we're making towards our goals. What would be in your money diaries this week? All right, that's it for this week's expenses. I will see you in the next one. Bye.